Alright, so Nikon just announced their new DSLR D3200, which a lot of people were looking forward to it. I've already looked at some of the sample pictures posted on Nikon's website. I've already looked at some of the video samples. Everything looks great. Um, video, I'm not too sure because um, I don't know how much it was edited. Um, anyway, based on the specs, based on the upgrades, I'll share my opinion and tell you, um, you know, what I what I think of this camera. Um, let's start off with price point. It's six ninety nine, which is not too bad. There's about one hundred and fifty dollar difference between the 3100 and the, the the newer version. Four frames per second, which is perfectly fine. You won't be using this for sports photography anyway. Um, I, I think four frames per second is, is it's more than enough for, especially if you're just starting off. It has 24 megapixel sensor, and my initial reaction was that it's a little too much. And But realistically, realistically, if you think about it, you're not gonna use this camera to do professional wedding shoots or events so the number of clicks are not going to be as as many as compared to if you're just you know photographing your 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 family you know or even if you want to do small gigs small outdoor shoots so for that i think it's still pretty much manageable it's not a deal breaker um, just because it's 24 megapixel um, d800 was a deal breaker for me because I do, I do weddings, events. I did 50 plus shoots last year. So for me, that's, that's a lot of picture, that's a lot of um, storage, you know. And it's not just storage, storage is really cheap these days, but it's also processing. I mean, you gotta get a top of the line computer, so you know, you're, you're importing hundreds of pictures in Lightroom. It's, it's, it's a lot, basically. So. 24 is, I think it's fine. Those who are looking for resolution, I think they're gonna get great quality out of it. Based on what I've seen on Nikon's website, all the, the sample pictures that they posted, they were pretty solid. They were pretty solid. I'm pretty sure they use pro lenses or they, they, they use prime lenses to take those pictures. Um, I, was, I was really impressed. So um, I have no problem with this 24 megapixel. If it were 16, it still would have been better, I guess. Um, the the upgrade that they did not do that they should have in my opinion was the focus points 11 focus points same as uh, d3100 they should have upgraded to at least 21 in my opinion um, composition is one thing that I that I always concentrate on I'm always preaching about it um, 11 is just it makes it difficult for you especially if you're photographing kids and they're constantly moving it's it, it gets challenging so that's I think they, they dropped the ball there. Video, I looked at it. I don't think, I'm sure it's edited. It looks fine um, on Nikon's website, but I've used D7000 video. I'm recording on D3S right now. I wasn't, I'm not too impressed with either of the, uh, the video modes. The autofocus is too jittery. I've looked at um, sample pictures of D4, as smooth as it can be. The autofocus is phenomenal on that. So I don't think um, the the video autofocusing is going to be really great. Um, they've upgraded the frames per second. You can actually previous model was uh, 1080p as well. This one uh, is 1080p, except you can do 60 frames per second and 720, which is great. Um, again, those who do a lot of video stuff. ISO is a big concern for them, so I'm not sure you have to wait and see how the ISO performance is. If it's half decent, if it's even as good as the 7000, I would say it's acceptable and you should, you know, basically pull pull the trigger. If you are looking to, you know, do videos and you want like 60 frames per second and you need, you know, a decent camera with a reasonable cost. So my overall um, impression, um, it's I think it's I think it's going to be a good camera. Um, am I going to get it? I would love to get my hands on it so I can at least review it, do a tutorial. Um, so let's let's um, wait and see. Um, don't forget to go to Nikon's website. I'll post the link so you can go under um, overview and right here you can see all these sample pictures. Um, they they look they look pretty um, good to me. Um, besides the sample pictures, they also have um, video um, samples um, as well. So 
check that out and let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. Talk to you later.